How's it going ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video with me, OLTTV, and another video on the channel. Today's video throws up something completely new and unique to me, but something which was a really cool experience and a definite eye opener into the world some people live in. Not only in the classic car scene, but also in terms of buying, collecting, and storing a huge collection of cars. So as you've probably seen from the title and the thumbnail of the video, uh, I was lucky enough to have the chance to go down and check out the recent London Barn Finds viewing day. So you've probably already seen the Instagram page and seen a few other people posting videos on YouTube about it or on their stories or whatever. But I wanted to go and see it for myself in the flesh just to see what the conditions the cars were in and if any of them caught my eye. As every single car you can see in the videos and the warehouse and the courtyards, they were all available to buy and all you had to do was submit a bid via email to be in with a chance of purchasing the car. Um, I'll get onto that in another video as I did actually bid on a few of the cars so you might see something in the next few days regarding all of that. Um, so the day started then with a venture from where I live in West London up to the north of London to where the cars were located. They were just in a big industrial estate just off a dual carriageway by an Ikea and straight away when we got there there was just loads of signs directing to where the viewing would be. Uh, when we turned up, we were originally expecting to only have like 15 or 20 minutes in the warehouse, which was going to be cutting it really short, to be fair, if you were going to go car by car in only 15 or 20 minutes, there was like 174 cars, so if you were going to cut that down, you were you were really short for time per car, so we were originally thinking we are going to have to decide which cars we want to look for, find them quickly and go for just them cars. But once we were in the queue to enter, we're actually told it's been pretty quiet for the last hour, so they weren't going to put a time limit on it at that point. Once we got in then, we were instantly met with some old school Land Rovers, from original Vogues to a number of beaten up and classic Defenders, which I had a bit of a fanboy moment over, to be fair, because I've wanted the old style Defender for years now. Not all the cars were in a bad nick, as you can see with this green Defender out in the front. It was a 2008 model, so not one of the most recent shape versions of the old shape, but it's definitely a lot newer than all the other models in this guy's collection. As we got into the warehouse itself then, I won't even attempt to try and tell you all the cars that are in here, as without looking at a list of what was there, a lot of the cars I have little and no knowledge about at all. I'm absolutely clueless on cars pretty much definitely sort of 60s 70s and 80s cars but in all honesty if it's pre-2005 it's really out of my comfort zone i couldn't tell you much about them from what i do know though there was plenty of old bmws mercs mgs land rovers one or two porsches and some other sort of like hippie style vans so your old vw vans so there was really a massive range in there uh, I won't waffle on about any of them specifically other than saying that they were all in really different conditions. Some of them looked like they hadn't been touched in 50 years or something and then others looked like they just came back from war. You'll see as I go around some of the cars, a lot of them are just like hard shells of the cars. So they were like missing seats, steering wheels, centre consoles, dashboards. Uh, there was no gearboxes or anything in them. Um, and then others were the full Monty with everything intact, but they were just under blankets and blankets of dust. One thing though we were made aware of before entering the warehouse is that everything does run in there. So no matter how old they were or what they looked like or what condition they were in, as long as they had a wheel, pedals and that sort of stuff, uh, all the cars did run which was really surprising but were very interesting to hear um, as a lot of them looked like they wouldn't move at all without a heavy restoration job or a new set of tyres on them because some of them just had massive flat tyres or looked like they were running on the metal of the alloy instead. Uh, all the cars came with a sheet of paper attached to them as well somewhere so it was usually on the dashboard or on the windscreen and it was given passers by a bit of an opportunity to learn the make and model of the car the age, the mileage if it was showing, uh, if it came with a V5 and also what service history it has over the years and how full it might be in terms of how many it's had, where it had them, if it was dealership or like different garages that have been doing them. Uh, also told you about MOTs and stuff as well which is a nice touch especially for people like myself who looked at it and I couldn't tell you what some of the cars were in there so it gave you a bit of an idea on what you were actually looking at, how old it is and how well it's been kept over the years. 
but anyways I am sure a lot of you don't want to hear me waffle on about some of the cars that were on display on the day because there was 174 cars in total all different range of conditions styles ages and like I mentioned at the start it was a really good eye-opener and the hobby some people can afford to have in the world as well as the difficulty someone must have and must experience in order to not only get all the cars in the first place but then to store them and then be able to maintain them over the years this guy he's obviously been doing it for years and years and years and i think it all started from ebay he bought them all from ebay and other car selling websites and auctions kept them looked after them for a while and then i think it all got a bit out of hand and got too much for him so he put them in some dry storage as you can see and they've just been left there for years and years and years i can imagine it's an absolute chore to get some of these out depending on where they are in the lineup but yeah i'll let the rest of the clips roll out so you can see what was inside for those of you that were unable to attend and wanted to get a better idea of what was in there like i said earlier all the cars you see were available to be bid on and i actually did bid on a few of the cars in there i'm not going to say which ones in this video because it will be released in another video that i'm going to bring out but i did bid i sealed my bid sent them off um and i will tell you that the owner of the collection did get back to us in regards to a few of the bids but all will be told in a future video and who knows you might see us owning a classic car in a few videos to come but at the end of the day cheers for tuning in guys i hope you enjoy the remaining clips of the cars uh, if you have any questions or anything on them i'll try and answer it but i won't be much help at all but cheers for watching please drop a like comment drop a sub as well i hit 150 subs and i, I, I was mad sort of surprised that i even reached that number so thank you very much if you're one of the people that are watching this and you're subbed um i'll catch you all another one and thanks again cheers